So what's 2020 going to mean for our wallets, uh, for our expenses? Well, consumers get set uh, for a price hike on a whole host of goods. Uh, what could be the new products that are set to get even costlier in 2020? My colleague Neha Tyagi gets you that report. Well, that's right. As we enter the new year, several items ranging from daily essentials to travel to entertainment are expected to go up. Here's a list of items that you will be shelling out a little bit more on starting this year. First, have a look at uh, what will impact your food basket. So LPG prices today were hiked at rupees 20 per cylinder across India. Mind you, this is the fifth straight consecutive hike in LPG prices this year. Apart from that, uh, biscuits, bread and bakery are expected to go up. Biscuits will go up about 6 to 7 percent more. Uh, this is basically on the back of increasing commodity prices. Wheat prices have, have gone up by 18 to 20 percent this year. Sugar prices are up by 12 to 13 percent and edible oil is up by 15 percent. Apart from that, uh, dairy and dairy related products will also get expensive. We've already seen Amul and Mother Dairy, uh, you know, uh, hike prices of uh, uh, milk by 2 to 3 rupees per litre. We've seen that cattle feed has gone up 35 percent this year. Apart from that, milk procurement price, prices have also gone up up 100 to 110 rupees per kg fat up uh, about 15 percent year on uh, year on year as far as uh, you know your consumer durables is concerned refrigerator prices are go up are expected to go up by five to seven uh, percent uh, because of uh, the changes in energy efficiency norms that kick in today um, apart from that uh, in terms of your entertainment tv prices are expected to go up by five to ten percent we spoke to several companies. What is happening is that the prices of TV plan panels globally uh, is going up by 15 to 17 percent, which will result in 5 to 10 percent hike in your televisions. Uh, your travel is also expected to go up uh, 2 paise per kilometer uh, for non-AC trains and 4 paise per kilometer for AC trains will go up. Apart from that, your cars will also get expensive. We are expecting a hike of about 13 to 15 percent across categories and across bands on account of BS6 uh, norms kicking in as well as increasing commodity prices. So all in all, 2020 is, seems like uh, it's going to be an expensive year for consumers. ISRO has set the priority straight for 2020. India's third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, first manned uh, mission, Ganganyaan, and 20 other crucial projects very much in the pipeline for the new year. This is an ETI exclusive. We're getting you a conversation direct with the ISRO chief, K7, who announced four astronauts for Ganganyaan have been selected and training is going to begin in Russia from the third week of January. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is uh, slated to be launched in 2021. We did hear the ISRO chief K7 say the work related to Chandrayaan-3 and manned mission Ganganyaan are going on simultaneously. K7, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for joining us here on uh, ET Now, this uh, directed exclusive interview on the India development debate. Uh, so as we start the new year, you have clearly been very busy as along with your team at ISRO. Tell our viewers first about Chandrayaan 3. Uh, how confident are you about Chandrayaan 3? What is it that we can expect to be different this time round? Uh, Chandrayaan 3 is, uh, uh, it is uh, say a repeat of Chandrayaan 2 only. Only thing is that in Chandrayaan 3, that is, uh, we don't have orbiter. Yes, in Chandrayaan 2, we have the orbiter, lander, and rover. And uh, this time, the ro uh, lander and rover will be a repeat of the Chandrayaan 2. Of course, with the modifications, whatever robustness uh, is built in. Whereas, instead of orbiter, we are having a propulsion module to uh, take the lander to the moon. That is that uh, our configuration we are working on. And uh, because it is a, a repeat of that uh, the earlier uh, mission, and we are not anticipating any, any issues, and uh, we are expecting this project to be completed at the earliest. Okay. So, uh, but it's for 2021, right, Mr. Sivan? Yes, that is uh, mostly it will be 2021. Sometimes in the first, week, uh, first half of 2021, it may be happening, this mission, this uh, Chandrayaan 3 mission. Because we, we are expecting this around uh, the, the 16 months and uh, from now. So, we are. 
I, I hope that the first half of the 2021 it may happen. Okay, here's wishing everyone and Istro the best of luck uh, for Chandrayaan 3. Uh, you know, it wasn't very long back that we were all glued to our television screens uh, for Chandrayaan 2. But, sir, you know, you have also said that uh, the government has approved the project cost for Chandrayaan 3. Can you share with us uh, what it could be? Because, uh, you know, ISRO has been applauded around the world from space missions, including NASA, heads of states, for what it is that ISRO has achieved uh, when it comes to project costs. Now, this particular uh, uh, the, the project, it uh, costs about 2 50 crore. This uh, the Chandrayaan uh, that uh, three that the module plus that uh, lander plus the rover, it is uh, around 250 crore. This uh, cost of this uh, mission, and maybe that when you talk about the mission, that is uh, the launch vehicle cost also will come to the picture. It will be around the 365 crore. This is the type of uh, that uh, budget we are talking on uh, for uh, Chandrayaan three mission. 350 crore rupees, uh, you know, that is uh, certainly going to be an envy when successful for other space missions around the world, Mr. Sivan. I would imagine it is uh, far more competitive, far more efficient. Yes, yes, it's uh, comparatively when compared to the other uh, the missions, it is not uh, very huge. That way I would say that. But I don't want to compare with other nations, uh, uh, the budget PS. I don't have a number on hand right now, this one. But I, we can talk about our missions, but we cannot talk, uh, at least I'm not able to speak about other uh, comparisons because I don't have the number on my hand. Sir, if I could also now move from Chandrayaan 3 uh, to the other big announcement and uh, what's going to keep uh, everyone at ISRO busy in 2020 is, of course, the Gaganyaan. Can you tell our viewers, uh, can you tell us on 1st of January uh, what the Gaganyaan is going to be about, why it is so crucial for India's uh, space program? Gaganyaan is that uh, the, the, the human space mission to the uh, uh, low Earth orbit, uh, take carry a man, uh, astronauts to the low Earth orbit and conduct experiment for uh, some time and uh, bringing them back to safely to the Earth. This is uh, the total Gaganyaan program we are taught you are talking. When you are talking about uh, Gaganyaan, there is a human in space program, it is different from that uh, our conventional launch vehicle or satellite program, because in conventional program we are talking about only satellite, which is uh, a satellite. We are, uh, the payload is a satellite, whereas in the, the human space program and the Gaganyaan program, the payload is at a human. So, in addition to the uh, conventional that engineering challenges, now we have additional vertical into the system about the human science human aspect also will come to the picture. The safety, reliability of the, the system should be one order better. Like that, many, many new requirements are coming. So that way, it is a very, very complex for the mission. And uh, we are working on that. And uh, last year, uh, we could uh, the, that, uh, do that design and uh, that uh, some kind of that, uh, that, uh, that uh, the, the human certification for the uh, that emissions, that type of uh, the guidelines we worked out, and also we worked out the different uh, that uh, the MOUs and also that uh, the selection process for the Gaganyan, uh, the, the, the the astronauts where uh, happened. Now that uh, the that, uh, the medical examination for the astronauts were completed, now we are ready with the four astronauts which are selected for uh, tra getting training in Russia. That process is going to start maybe in another three weeks from now. And uh, so that way, this uh, astronaut training is the one process this year is going to take uh, major activity. Of course, it is done in uh, Russia. And also that uh, we have a lot of uh, the test to be done before flying. Because this uh, human certification of that engine and stages, 
the human certification of the many other systems. At the same time, that is uh, the, that, uh, the testing or validation of the crew escape system in different configurations, that is another uh, thing. So that for that we are doing a different strategies to do the test. And uh, with all these things, that is uh, we are realizing the we, are, we will be realizing that the uh, Gaganyan, that uh, the uh, other modules and the other systems also. With all these things, we are expecting that we are targeting. I would say that we are targeting for December 2020 as the the first unmanned mission, probably. If, if there are any problems, it may ship to 2021 again, this one. Okay, we could see this in 2021. And of course, Mr. Sivan, just for the benefit of our viewers, uh, if successful, uh, India would become the fourth nation on this planet uh, to actually achieve this feat. Uh, Mr. Sivan, you know, um, from the ramparts of the Red Fort uh, in 2018, Narendra Modi had hinted uh, it would be three representatives, uh, three astronauts uh, selected from the IAF, including a woman. Can you tell us if the four crew members that have been selected will be going to Russia from training, if they are all men or if there is indeed a woman too? Yes, the, the, for the first mission, whatever uh, people we selected is uh, all uh, four are uh, men only, and uh, they are from that uh, IAF, the, the test pilots, uh, the team. They are from that. So uh, the, there is no uh, that uh, women in this particular team. All are uh, men only. Probably that is uh, in the in the because Kaganyan program is not only one mission. Because continuously it is going to that's a, we are going to sustain that uh, program with the many 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 mission. Probably at that time we will be able to select the the, hum, uh, the women also. Right now, whatever the four members selected, they are the men only. Okay. Mr. Sivan, before I let you go, uh, of course, these, these are the two big missions, uh, the two big projects. Uh, but, you know, we do understand there will be 25 plus uh, missions in 2020. Uh, if you could break it down for us in layman language, uh, what it is that Indians can look forward to in 2020, uh, what is going to be crucial about 2020 and India's space mission outside of the Chandrayaan-3 and the Gaganyaan? Oh, 2020, that is a huge number of missions we are planning. That is uh, more than 20 missions. Suppose if you are asking me, that is, uh, I can say that is the exact number is something more than that, but uh, we'll be always targeting for missions. The important missions are, I would say that is one is that uh, the first, uh, the maiden flight of the small satellite launcher, that is SSLV. Then we are talking about uh, launching up that GSAT-20, that is uh, the satellite required for that uh, in-flight connectivity and also uh, the government's, uh, uh, the flagship program for Digital India for uh, connecting to the remote place with uh, the huge data connectivity that for that purpose it will be used. And uh, at the same time, it will be used for maritime uh, connectivity also. This is one major program. Another program what we started talking about is Aditya L1 mission to study the sun. That is yet another uh, the mission we are talking. Then uh, the, the GSLV that is uh, going to launch that uh, the first uh, GSAT, uh, the geoimaging satellite, it is going to launch. That is having a different uh, configuration in the sense with the four meter payload firing with the OJ. Uh, configuration. This is another uh, challenge. We are going to face it. Then the Indian data relay satellite we are mission we are going to have. This is yet another. Another important aspect is that uh, we are going to have that uh, our navigation satellite with our in, uh, indigenous atomic clock. It is developed by our own uh, team. It is not procured one. That is another uh, uh, that uh, the mission. Like that lot of uh, the missions like uh, some set of uh, that, uh, that RA sats and uh, set of uh, that uh, the Cartosat 3 series and the OceanSat 3 series and uh, 
that uh, high resolution satellite series like okay, many many says uh, the satellites are planned to be launched in this year okay so that's uh the plan for 2020 with that uh, mr seven uh, Here's wishing you and the entire team at ISRO the very best of luck. I don't know if you need our luck uh, for all that you have stated out to be. And a very happy new year to everyone. Thank you, madam. We are very, very extremely happy that to receive the, that, uh, the blessings from you. And I'm extremely happy to receive the greetings from you. And I also wish a happy new year to you and your team. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the ISRO chief, uh, the man in charge of India's uh, space mission. You heard it right here on India Development Debate, uh, how India is pioneering the space mission. And of course, uh, at a fraction of the cost incurred, by the developed countries. Here's wishing all of them the very best of luck once again. And with that, uh, we'll wrap up the first uh, episode of 2020 of the India Development Debate. See you same time tomorrow.